I'm mixing up my uh, morning routine stack, which is my pre-workout, my creatine, and my performance greens. Get a little bit of that caffeine in me, a little bit of that dynamine, that creatine, so I get a pump, and I get ready to fucking go. So I got a big fucking deadlift today. Today is gonna be one of those like PR zone days, you know what I mean? Like I've been ramping up the last six weeks, bump, 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 higher and higher and higher. And today I have 535 uh, program based off of what I did last week. If I hit it for a single, which means I'm not feeling that good, that's fine. I'm just gonna dial it back a little bit so I can hit a bigger weight next week. But if I feel good, and if I hit it for even two or three, it's a PR. So I'm in that PR mindset today. Training has been going pretty good, given all the things that's going on. Like if you follow me, I'm outside of this channel, but just overall and social media and stuff, you'll know I've been going through a lot in the last like month, two months. My pops passed away. Uh, Tyka's been getting a little more seizures, and uh, before that, we almost didn't close on our new house. It was just a lot of stress during that time. And you know, like ironically, you would think that like weights and getting jacked is like the least of your priorities, you know? Like when you got a lot of shit going on, you're like, move that shit to the side. I got other shit I gotta take care of. But um, what I realized is when you're in chaos, like you actually build confidence and you're able to steady yourself when you can control the controllable, you know? And your training, your body, that's like the absolute first thing you can control. You can, you can, you can make yourself go run a mile, you can make yourself go squat or do whatever before you can control any external factor. So what I've learned as, as crazy as life gets, it's almost that much more important to commit myself to the gym. Because once I'm grounded there and I hit like my morning workout and I bust that out, I feel so confident as a human being that when I approach all my other problems, fuck it, I gotta drive to LA real quick to take care of my dad stuff. Oh, we gotta take Taika to see like five doctors today, no problem. Cause you're in a confident state, you know? I'm, in a, I'm not in a defeated state. So when you're in a confident like um, state that's like, where you're a creature that's hungry, you take care of problems way differently. So as a result, um, I put a little bit less stress and pressure on hitting the numbers from week to week because that will be an added stress. I just make sure I get in the gym and I get after it. And if the weights are there, that's awesome. But if not, you know, I'm lifting for outside greater goal, being a good dad, good business owner, a good friend, all that stuff. So um, I'm happy to still consistently do what I'm supposed to do and I haven't broken a single training day yet. violence on the bar you know I know all my old coaches would be like bro your technique bro you're yanking like a motherfucker I'm like I know but sometimes you know you could be right and sometimes BAM and you lay the motherfucker out I don't know I am a bad athlete dude don't ever try to coach me I'll never listen <laughs> crazy is um, on training days where a PR is on the line I actually get kind of nervous like it's meat day because to me when a PR is on the line or if there is even a potential for a PR 
it's a historical moment in your own personal life. Like imagine you live without social media, no one posts anything, right? But you just know what you're capable of. The first day you do a clap push up, or the first day you're able to do a pull up, or the first day you like jumped over a trash can or something, in your mind you almost remember that day because it's historical for you. And who knows if you could do it again, right? Because it's your, literally your personal record. And so on days that are like that, um, where, where I'm like, oh fuck, I could be the best version of myself up to this point today, it kind of makes me a little bit nervous. And what kind of sucks is it makes me go, fuck it, I'm just gonna go crazy. And then it's bad for training. So it's a huge balance of living in the moment, but also thinking big picture. And sometimes I have a hard time doing that. Sometimes you gotta lift with style. Like this shirt's so cool that I don't wanna cover it with a belt. I'm putting it on underneath. See? Sure, it does look pretty cool. <laughs> Getting heavy, man. It looks like it moves pretty fast, though. Yeah? Yeah. Because I think I know I only got pretty much two more jumps. I got 495. And then if it moves good, sets me up for a good, you know, alley-oop to hit my 535. But if it moves slow, it's gonna take away from it. So, that's when the nerves kick in, you know? And they're like, am I gonna have a historical moment? I don't know, man. Go, Mark. I actually don't know how it felt. I just kind of went numb. I was just trying to zone the fuck out and like, you don't have too much at stake, sometimes you don't perform. So I try to like get that like historical bullshit that I was talking about out of the way. And just go be in the moment, have good form and blast it. Not bad, not fast, but smooth. I'll do it more time. Yeah, it's smooth. All right, let's do it. 515, 535, yep. Electrolytes and vitamin C and agua de piña flavor, our immunity support. So it helps out in multiple ways. One, electrolytes keep your body hydrated and you know your muscles, when you try to go for a pump, because it got blood and water, you wanna make it nice and juicy so it's protected. The vitamin C is helpful because Geo's sick. For uh, just last week I was with my nephews, they were all sick too, so I'm still here, trying to stay healthy. Go Bart. Yeah. I want a three. I only got two. Pretty happy still. But damn, that shit was fucking heavy, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Not bad. What were you thinking when you were going? Um, first one I pulled, I was like, oh fuck. But like I ran into a brick wall. And I was like, fuck this brick wall. And on the second one I was like, oh fuck the brick wall's winning. Ah oh, shit. So brick wall won this time. Got 535 for two though, which is already a PR like I said. Anything over one is good. Cause even when I pulled 600 back in the day when I was like 230, um, I never really hit anything over 500 for reps. So um, to be able to get more volume in like this, it's 
pretty cool. So feel pretty confident with that. I'm gonna do my back offsets at a pretty high weight but lower reps. Just to, it could also just be a feeling. Sometimes it's a feeling where like the minute, kind of like you know when you go underwater, and the minute you go underwater, like out, outside, you can hold your breath for maybe a minute. But the minute you go underwater, even a foot, the feeling of your orifices sealed makes you go like that, you know? So sometimes it's just a feeling of heavy weight that makes your body shut down and go, no, you can't do anymore. So I'm gonna get a little more comfortable with heavier weight, do my um, RDLs, and we'll see next week. We can do next week and see what's up. Wow, that first one was really good. Oh, I could have at least three more. Come on, dude. Just kidding. Damn. She's getting heavy. Thank you. Oh, that's heavy. Oh. <sighs> Feels good. You know, like, the way I kind of like view life is like you have all your little buckets. You know, like maybe your savings, your finances. You're saving for a little trip, your relationship with your parents, all the little stuff you got going on, you know? And I always feel like as long as you got a couple of wins and a few buckets, those are the things that help pull you into a positive momentum place. And so, yeah, the last couple of months have been pretty rough, but hitting 535 for two, staying on track, keeping my weight at 193. Like, since Get Lean, um, I have gained weight a little bit but I brought it right back down so being able to manage the controllable um, gives me like the confidence and the ability to go you know what everything else I got it too but since we're talking about my weight let me show you the real real because nobody's trying to share the real real you know what I'm saying so check it out that's when Gillian was over and then got a little cheat meal and then, I mean, uh, my bad. Just when Get Lena's over on here. Got my lowest right here. Holidays comes, rough month. I'm a stress eater, so I went bah, 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 bah. But guess what? In the last week, I've been dialing in. So back at 193. Control what we can, you know? And uh, get after it. running this program at the same pace I'm running it you might be like holy fuck it's getting really hard week five week six week seven and you're right it is hard because we're truncating um, our goal right like usually when you train for a meet I prefer to coach people 16 weeks out 14 weeks out for rushing it 12 weeks out is probably my bare minimum anyone that goes yo Bart can I coach me I'm like do you have at least 12 weeks if they go no I'm like I won't even touch that I'm like you're rushing it we're trying to end this year with the bang. So I was like, fuck it, eight weeks, baby, let's fucking do it. So it's really, really hard. We're like squeezing almost 16 weeks of progress into eight and really trying to get after it. So really, really push yourself, you know, and you'd be surprised uh, what you can get out of it. And if not, if you don't hit the numbers that you want for both of us, it's a really, really good learning experience to know what you're made of like out here and in here. So I believe in you. Hopefully you guys believe in me and we'll keep pushing through together.